Invincible. Season two, episode seven. I don't remember what the episode was called. You never uh, remember it. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm just slacking. Mark is at what seems like Comic Con, but for real superheroes. Seems like it's a fun date with Amber, uh, but there seem to be a lot of people dressed up as. They're at the event, but it seems as if they're still having the slightest bit of trouble communicating. Oh, and they use Seance Dog to make a bunch of meta jokes about Invincible during their break, Damn. which I thought was interesting. Can we? Can, can Oh yeah, no, that little bit was a little. That, that was kind of funny. I just wanted to get out of this awkward moment so bad. I wanted out of it. I wanted it done. I said, if they not gonna break up last episode, which they didn't. If we get out of this next episode and they're still together, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Because, I mean, they are stretching this shit out as far as they could possibly stretch it. Um, yeah. To the point that it, it becomes a little bit unbelievable. Like, they're they're working it a little too much. Because, as we know from the the group that Debbie was in earlier, the Survivors group or whatever... They all had partners. They all had human partners. So, like, there are literally superhero human relationships all over the place in this universe. Like, everywhere. But it seems like Amber and Mark, like, honestly, their problems are that they're young and they both have conflicting interests. That's the mm -hmm. problem. Like, that shit could have happened to any two teenagers anywhere in the country. But making it this, this, oh, man, like, He's a superhero. He can never have a he wouldn't be here if it was impossible for a human to exist in a superhero's life in a in a in a in a intimate way. He would not yeah. be here. He would have never had a mother or a father to to be born to it would have never worked out. Right. So like we, yeah. we literally know that that there's a capacity for this relationship. It's just not there for Mark and Amber. And I don't feel like we had to we didn't have to do that for that long to get there. Like they didn't even really let her do anything this season that would have warranted her coming back. To be honest with you, if that's, that's all we was gonna do, Rex apparently thinks that he's the shit now uh, because he survived the bullet to the head. Uh, but it turns out he can't even handle the tentacle monster at hand. That is until Invincible gets there. Rex asks for another chance to get the tentacle monster, but then Bro notices that he doesn't have any explodable disc thingies uh but then a turret comes out of his hand so like is he a robot like donald and no, all remember he got his hand bit off by the dude that swallowed the the size up girl so that's his right but hand. then but but then they added some robotics to his sure yeah I, bro you give me an android hand it better shoot some type of weaponry it better do something i think the whole point of that was he was working his powers without the enhancement he wanted to feel like himself again. I think that was the whole point. I, it, we we seen what Rex is capable of, right? We we seen what Rex can do versus the the Snake Society, right? Mm -hmm. He can he can he can get down. Like all jokes aside, Jay Balzerian voice aside, <laughs> he, he he can get down for sure. So I think he was more so of trying to like, all right, I'm gonna do this, even if I'm getting my ass beat, I'm gonna do this like me. Like how I was before this. I need to know that I can still be me without this. And then when it really got down to it, when it when it you know the chips was down, I was like, all right, let me go ahead and get this through. Let me get it yeah. over with. Definitely should lead with that. Like you said, sure, lead with that. Uh, he 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 he's a. I feel like he's Gambit with more depth. One of my one of my my critiques on Gambit, especially in the television show. Has been that there's really just no there there, like I would never pick up a Gambit comic, never, never. I the, the whole thing about Channing Tatum being ta uh, Gambit in a movie was never going to see it. Was never going to see it um, because there's just not a lot of depth of character there. I think sure. Rex gives you a little bit of nuance, right? There's 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 some pain behind the meathead. There's some depth behind the the dumb jock so th there's more character there but in terms of power say yeah no he's absolutely gambit he's gambit robot is apparently trying to make monster girl use her powers remotely 
through VR or some shit, and she wants no parts. But Jay Farrell's little thing going on too. Like they about to break up before they even really do anything. (laughs) Facts. Uh, Jay Farrell's character points out how obviously fucked the Guardians are, but Samson believes that the team functions just fine. That's when the immortal shows that he wants to quit after Kate's death, but Cecil won't let him. However, he is allowing a temporary leave, which may cause problems with the favor that Rex just gave Invincible. Since they're probably going to need the help, Invincible at some point. I just, I just know that that shit is going to go terribly wrong. Yeah, we're going to give you a day where we don't call you at all. Yeah, that's right. just when they're going to let sure. the planet get destroyed. <laughs> uh, also, Donald asked to resign, which is funny because Homeboy just resigned. And after explaining why, Cecil gives him the red pill and shows him all of the times that he's died in the past, and that you asked to have your memory wiped. Debbie is not only out here, not only out here selling houses, uh, but her partner is asking her out on a date. And the nanny is doing great things with Oliver. So, you know, things are clearly going well. That is until Mark ruins it by asking advice on how to deal with Amber. First of all, Debbie has an obligation to tell that man no. She has a duty to tell that man (laughs) no. Sure. Her being, oldest son is a superhero with all being Omni Man's sloppy enemies. seconds is crazy. His 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 that we haven't even we don't even that's last. Let's let's we don't even let's talk about the, the that's shit. kind of the biggest thing. No, 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 no. Let's talk about all the shit that should make this man turn around before we even say the words Omni Man. Okay? okay. Her oldest son is a superhero with all type of powerful enemies that can come knocking at that door at any given moment of time, right? Yeah. She is playing Mother Dearest to her ex-husband's mutant baby that is going to start aging exponentially any day now. So mm-hmm. what the fuck? He's going to have a teenager tomorrow. Sure. Uh, what else? Oh, she has a very co- uh, very cozy relationship with a governmental agency that surveils her house. Anything that goes on around her in her life 24-7 all day, every day for the rest of her life. Right. Hmm? She also just has terrible no, luck. No, 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 no. We ain't there yet. We not there. Just terrible luck with men. Most of her friends, most of her close friends and, and couple friends either died at the hands of her ex-husband or or moved out and, and, and started doing some weird shit because I don't know what uh what's that Red Guardian's wife is actually doing. I think yeah, she's going to uh, come back. Yeah. She's going to come back. She's doing something. She's doing something. I don't know what it is, but she's doing something. And Definitely. then, once you get past all of that, then we can start talking about, oh, yeah, by the way, her ex is Omni-Man. And the fact that she just has terrible luck with men. Fam, he should run awful, for the hills. Awful luck with men. I don't think there's He's a clearer that. sign than the house that was directly across from Debbie exploded and killed her husband. Like, if ever there was a sign that maybe try someone else, I feel like that's a gl- that's like a billboard. Sure, she I'm should. Not but she's first. not going to. Uh, yeah, but try somebody else. She wants love. Let her have love. She's going to try to have love. I she needs say. to love Oliver. She sure. needs to love Oliver and Mark. <laughs> sure, uh, but despite that, Mark decided to ruin her great day by asking for advice with Amber. Because why not? Mark and Amber have an amazing date after Mark tells Cecil to fuck off for two weeks. Amber and Mark are explaining their plans for the time that they have now, which is really another touching moment. That is, until a Viltrumite shows up and threatens to kill Amber unless he comes with her. The Viltrumite, her name is Anissa. Uh, Do you remember remember me telling you about the one thing that I knew from the comics? What you knew that was coming? Yeah. Okay. Uh, It might take a while, but just know that the clock is now here. For that thing that I know about, now that Anissa has showed up, oh, okay. Not going to say anymore, but the thing is happening soon at some point. It, it might take a season or two, but it's it's the clock is up on it. Just I don't know if I like you knowing something about something that we're watching that I don't know. You know what's crazy is I know it despite not reading the comics yet again. Yeah, I still I don't I don't like it. I don't like it. Yeah, we're not we're not doing that, Gray. I I know yeah, it. You know what? 
If if the, you want the me to tell knows. Josh never to mention this again, go ahead I know and, and, and chat give, knows. Me, give me We're a fifth in the, in the chat. If you want him to never n- mention that he has knowledge of this show <laughs> that we all don't have, just go ahead and nod in the chat. Anissa makes a compelling argument as to why Viltrumite should run Earth. Mark doesn't have a high likelihood of beating Anissa. Uh, however, there is a kaiju attacking a ship. So Anissa takes that as a chance to see bro in action. Mark struggles with the monster, so Anissa rushes through its head like a speeding bullet. Oh, and she's also aware that Mark is listening to Cecil. She went through the kaiju's head and then stopped so hard that all the blood splatter came off her. I said, oh, Mark, crazy. Run, 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 right now. Run, just run. Just bounce. Insane. This ain't gonna go well. But if you notice, right? Okay, so now we've seen Mark fight a Viltrumite three times. First time he fought a Viltrumite, it wasn't even close. It was it was dastardly, right? It, it, his dad turned his face into pulp. Second time he fought a Viltrumite, right, is on the Oliver's planet, whatever the hell that is. A Thrax, Thraxen, Thraxen, whatever. They were Thraxens, whatever. Yeah, I, yeah, I know yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah, that planet. Um, still got his ass kicked. But held his own and fought back, fought back a little mm-hmm. bit, right? Mm-hmm. This one still gets fucked up, but gets less fucked up than he did before, right? Because before he was hospitalized for a little bit, they needed to, you know, okay. mend my boy okay. back up. Okay. This time he was just kind of licking his wounds, waiting for Cecil to come up. Still had the shiner, but you notice he's getting incrementally better every time he runs into a Viltrumite. Sure, she could have killed him. No, she absolutely could have killed him. The guys on on Thraxen could have killed him. Could have. Sure. Sure. Right? But didn't. Right? And and I, and I know and this is a different threat, but I'm still saying the way he's taking these ass whoops is getting a little bit better. I feel like yes. we're going to get to a point where like it's going to actually be some stalemates. Is that Mark maturing in his power set? Is that him, you know, leveling up? Is he uh, maturing into his 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 Viltrumite powers? Who knows? But I have noticed that he's getting slightly better in each encounter with a Viltrumite. And he's not. I the take only what one. you're saying. I, I agree with that because he did obviously go back home after that. It wasn't like yeah. he was he, still he crushed on the side of a mountain. Yeah, right, right. He didn't go to recovery. Like, all right, man, I'll, I'll take it. I'll be all right. Still could have killed him and only didn't kill him because there was another level that had to deal with him first. No, she could have killed him. No, y'all, y'all are right. She could have killed him. I'm still saying the punishment that he withstood. If that was a couple of weeks ago when he was trying to help his dad, he would have been right where he was at after that fight, laid up in a hospital bed. Right? He took this ass whooping and got up and walked away from it. Now, again, you can still okay. Case in point, I get into we get into a fist fight. I knock you out cold. You sleep, right? A month later, you come back. We fight. I knock you to the ground. You're still conscious. And I put my fist right to your face and I tell you to give up or else I'm going to knock you out again. Now you give up and I could have knocked you out. But at the point, you wasn't asleep, was you? So you got incrementally better. It's Pop's logic. You win some, you lose some. But you live. You live to fight another day. Yo, the next time he runs into a Viltrumite, the Viltrumite is going to go down. Whoever it is, they're not going to give him. I don't think they're going to give him like, you know, the dude with the eye or or Nissa again until they probably come back to Earth to like, all right, it's time to start colonizing this shit. Right. But the next Viltrumite he sees. Let's just hope that the next Viltrumite he sees is not. Anissa. Anissa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In, in as context. long as it's not her. As long as it's not her. Know. He's getting um, stronger after the encounters. I'm telling you. And I feel like I feel like they're trying to signal to us that that's what's going to happen with Mark because of what happened to Alan. It's like a little bit of foreshadowing. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm, I'm trying not to get there. No, no, they, no. They're, no, no. It's cool. they're it's literally cool. giving us I get the crumbs as to what beats the Viltra mice, Right? Yes. It's evolution. You have to evolve past the apex predator so the only way to beat the vilture mice is to constantly get your ass whooped to the point where you're about to die but not really well okay so think about it 
at the turn of each type of like species turnover. I don't even know how to describe it, like evolutionary period, right? Like when you went from from the prehistoric area over to the the is it the crustaceous? Whatever. The dinosaurs over to the mammals mm-hmm. when they start having fur, right? Eventually, all the dinosaurs either start dying out because of the fucking weather or there were bigger predators. Shit just start happening. And then the ones that survived evolved into something else because they survived. They changed. They became something else. Fucking birds and alligators and those weird ass crabs that you can still find today that's technically millions of years old, the little shelled ones. Okay, so obviously amber and mark are not a thing, kind of, but not really, but sort of, kind of. No, they're done. They're done, Ski. <laughs> but over. not really. It is over. Kind of. Amber's kind of scared. Him and Adam Eve. It's time for Adam Eve and him to get it, get it, get it going. Anissa is scared the ever living shit out of Amber, so she's like, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. And to make things even worse, Angstrom has got Debbie and Oliver. The post credit scene. Alan the alien is stronger than we thought. Duh. Strong as fuck. Whoop the Nissa's ass. Strong as hell. And obviously now, stronger than the y'all think Alan out there whooping the Nissa's ass and the next time Mark run into her, he ain't gonna have no little bit more smoke. You think he can have a little more Alan smoke. is destined to be stronger than Mark? Uh not like, for long. Like, okay, but, that's my point. If Alan is out there now and he already whooping built your mind ass. Where do you think Invincible going to be doing the next time he runs to a filter mic? You think they're going to allow Alan to be stronger than Invincible in the show that's called Invincible for longer than an episode? I will argue this. Alan only had to get his ass whooped one time. And he can whoop in this his ass right now. Homeboy got his ass whooped three times and still can't. The biology is different. The 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 you know pin you know pin versus Viltrumite. You gotta work a little harder to get the Viltr. Remember, is everybody forgetting that Mark was late to his powers? That they didn't even think that he was gonna manifest. So if there's going to be any type of of growth period or growth spurt, wouldn't it be the same type of delay? If we're talking about a developmental period, right? And it took him longer than they thought for him to even get his powers. Maybe it's taking longer than to evolve into a mature Viltrumite than what they thought because of the mixture of Viltrumite and human biology, right? It, it ends up different. They mix with the Thraxans. All of a sudden, Oliver's going to be like, boom, 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 I'm developing quick. He mixes with well, a human. Didn't they say Maybe Unopins were weak slower. as fuck? Huh? Didn't they say Unopins were weak as fuck? Yeah, but they did all them tests on him. They souped him up. They gave him, you know, sure. they gave him super sure. juice. So he, yeah, no, he's good now. But I thought Unopens were weak as hell. I don't no, know. they are in, in in general, but they 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 kind of sped up the process. Well, I guess humans are weak as fuck too, comparatively speaking. Anything else on Invincible season two, episode seven? Uh nah, man. I'm glad the I'm glad that we finally hung up the Mark and Amber thing. Um. You know, now they can let Eve and Mark go crazy. That's what they've been teasing this about for a whole season and a half. Sure. Um, yeah. Also, it's seeming like we're we're refocusing to where the beginning of the season had us with Langstrom. Uh, so, interesting to see how all that comes to a head. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Who else? Probably going to be getting another peek at Nolan soon. Mark about to literally get up and at him. Brunts. Adam Eve. Ah! Uh, you see, I actually spelled it out. If I would have read it, I would have got it. Oh, yeah. that Yeah, without <laughs> reading it, that would have been 